Good morning, guys. Good afternoon, guys. <laughs> so we are in Santa Monica today, and we had a bit of a sleep in this morning. It's about midday, so we've come down to the beach, and we're going to see if we can hire some bikes or some scooters and make our way down to Venice Beach today and go check it out down there. Yeah, so look forward to it. We had a big day yesterday, and now today... We're just going to cruise along and see how we go. Yeah, we're on cruise mode today. So we're going to bring you with us to see the view from Santa Monica to Venice Beach. And we hope you enjoy. We'll see you on the other side. So we ended up hiring our bikes from this rental place, which was directly across the road from Santa Monica Beach. There's also a cafe attached, which you can see in the background. And I think the rates were $35 per hour. So we hired a bike each for two hours. So it worked out to be $140 before tax. And these are our bikes here. We were gonna go for e-bikes, but we decided to get these cruisers and ride down to Venice Beach. So it only takes about 15 minutes to ride from Santa Monica Beach to Venice Beach, but because the majority of the bike track is flat, it makes it a really enjoyable, leisurely bike ride. And once we got there, we were both absolutely starving. So we got a late breakfast. Michael had a pastry and a juice, and I had an iced coffee and an asahi bowl or an a KA bowl or however you like to pronounce it. I personally say Asahi and this one in particular was massive and I just feel like I couldn't come to LA without getting this breakfast combination or late breakfast combination in our case but I absolutely love Asahi bowls. They're one of my favorite things for breakfast if I go out to a cafe and this one definitely didn't disappoint. So one tip that I would give if you are planning on doing this bike ride from Santa Monica to Venice Beach is that two hours goes very quickly. So be sure to keep an eye on the time because before we knew it, by the time we sat down, had our late breakfast and took a few photos and videos, it was time to head back and drop off the bikes. So what's the best thing to do after a sweaty bike ride out in the sun? The answer, of course, is to go for a swim in your hotel swimming pool if you have one. And we stayed at Sonder the Beacon and the swimming pool at this hotel was really nice and it also had a spa, which was very warm. And the best thing was, no one else was there. Needless to say, we made the most of it, especially because this was our last day in Santa Monica. Now I'm not really one for attention Shine a light through a prison full spectrum Pull the curtains back, you in my dimension Lay back and just forget the Another thing which I thought was really worth mentioning about this hotel was that they actually have disabled access to the pool from the ground. So you can literally get out of the lift and catch this little mini lift if you're in a wheelchair or if you have trouble getting upstairs up to the deck area. If this is something that you look for and that you need, I'll leave a link to the hotel in the description below. Did I also mention that the Sonja Beacon has a rooftop bar? So of course we did the no brainer thing. We went upstairs for dinner because we had a very early flight the next morning out and the views were amazing. You can see all the way to Santa Monica Pier up here. There's a few little separate 
dining drinks areas up on the rooftop and you can sit inside or outside we ordered some calamari and chips and the food was also really great so we would definitely rate this hotel really highly in terms of location cleanliness the room amenities and the front desk staff were also really helpful and accommodating so that brings us to the end of this video and our last day in Santa Monica. If you want to see where we go to next, we will be posting a video of our next destination next week. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and we look forward to seeing you in our next one.